Scheiße. because we just wanted to end it on a sweet note and basically for starters as we usually start we'll talk about the vibe here so the vibe is really really nice comfy and homey it is a it's a very outdoor setup although there is this upstairs area which you which has like couches and stuff like that and um this is obviously indoors and then at the bottom or downstairs rather there is an indoor section as well it's just the, um, a little bit smaller than this but there's a large a large portion which is actually very outdoorsy and we found that so so nice like there isn't really any music or anything but honestly you don't need it like there's just like the chatter of everyone around you and like the birds and I mean like it's just like the perfect little coffee shop and um, also they have these Blankets outside if people get cold considering it is winter, which I found that also really homey Like I just want to yeah, grab myself a really blanket, nice. drink my chai latte and just like stay here for like hours reading a book or something Which is exactly what every coffee shop should offer a person um, And then also what's really cool though is although it feels so homey and comfy The structure of this place is incredible and that just gives it like a modern edge and vibe to it Although you come here and still feel so at home. The customer service here was excellent, mm -hmm. really nice. People were very friendly. In the beginning, we were a little bit confused as to how this place worked, but they were very kind to us by explaining exactly how it works. So uh, how it is, is you go to the main front counter, you get a little menu, you check what you want, and then you tell the person behind the counter what you'd like. Then, after telling them and them taking your order, you can sit wherever you want. You can come up here to where we are, a nice little private but not so private since it's glass door, <laughs> yeah. glass walls. Great for people watching if that's what you're into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice, very interesting, very cool and just relaxing, you know. Mm. Once your order is done, they will either bring it to you or if you want, you can go collect at the counter and then pay right there which is also very nice and convenient and yeah since everybody was so friendly it really just brought up a great and amazing atmosphere so yeah we really enjoyed it yeah it makes such a good experience and then in terms of affordability now i really need to emphasize what i'm about to say it was like so affordable it's crazy like basically what i'm trying to say though is I compare it to places that we often go to go and get whatever drinks we prefer. So I normally get my chai latte. I'm not a coffee person, but I like my chai latte. And Daniel is a coffee person, and then obviously he'll just get whatever he's in the mood for. So um, basically, we managed to get, you know, like my chai latte was only 25 Rand. And um, it was a large on any other standard menu, if I can put it that way. I don't know of any place that I can get a chai latte for literally less than 30 Rand if I'm lucky for a large Like usually we'll go to Woolies or somewhere like that Woolies cafe and there um, I can't remember exactly and I don't want to tell lies, but I'm pretty sure I paid 35 Rand um, For a grande so To me that was amazing. Firstly, you've got this 
really um, homey and very cool and different place. It's not just your commercial, you know, kind of place. And then you've got these amazing prices. And to top it all off, everything here from the coffee beans to whatever else is actually super fresh, homemade, um, and that kind of stuff. And that's so different to the commercial industry, you know, where everything is usually packaged and whatever else. So to get those prices, I mean, I'm amazed. I just, you know, come here, drink yourself an amazing coffee, have a good time. You're not gonna regret it, basically. <laughs> In terms of the food, they do have some gluten-free items, which is great for the people that can't have gluten or don't like it. They also have some breakfast items and some light meals for lunch, which is always great, mm -hmm. which means you can come pretty much any time of the day, which obviously is a winner. Yeah, and sorry, I just want to add in that I didn't really speak about affordability in terms of the food, but yeah, that was also super affordable. It's pretty much on par with most places. It's definitely on the very affordable side of things. Um, so yeah. Claudia got the chai latte, as she said, but I, since I'm a coffee person and she's not, <laughs> weirdo, um, I got myself a hazelnut latte, which was super delicious. Yeah, the chai latte was also super good. I yeah. mean, not a lot of places know how to make a chai latte. I'm not going to mention any names, but I've had some pretty bad ones in my life. <laughs> but uh, no, it was incredible. So delicious. Yeah, really good. The little cake slice that we got was just really delicious. Mm -hmm. It was the blueberry and yogurt slice. A little bit of blueberries in it, a little bit of yogurt on top. That was a standard for the rest of their food and little cakes and desserts. Then I'm pretty sure the rest of it will be really delicious as well. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're asking yourself the question, should I come to Scout? Should I have a coffee here? Should I spend some time here? Well, the answer is definitely yes. <laughs> Again, such an amazing experience. We've just been so blessed today with awesome experiences all around and we really enjoyed it. So we hope you guys have too. Um, but just before we go, if you guys do want to see basically a recap of all the places that we went today, you can check out the link that's on the screen right now. Um, or it will also be linked below that is our blog it's just basically it's nothing too special it's just to show you guys maybe some extra information based on our videos so as an example in this video so that you don't have to go right back to the beginning of the video and like watch it again to like see oh was it affordable or not or like you know did you like it or not you can just quickly go there and there's just a little setup that will basically tell you in a very summarized version what we saw today what happened about each of the places that we visited so yeah yeah hope you guys enjoyed please like share subscribe and join <laughs> us next time we'll see you at our next adventure yeah bye